Pac-Man Jones. The NFL and white America trying to paint you as a black Lucifer. Here you're looking like a saint. Kind of like a black Moses to a lot of young brothers, man. They like your style. Me knowing that the same white, fucked up, slave master ship captains that brought your people over and now pretty much own the NFL and treat y'all like slaves. You know, they made Stevia illegal through the FDA because it kicks cocaine's ass and lots of it cures, man. Vanishes fat, vanishes tumors, vanishes cancer, vanishes diabetes. Got all the proof. Yeah, that's at znaturalfoods.com, homeboy. And that's legal and that powers you through any workout and takes you to another level. Doesn't even come close to the pure, okay, at Z Natural Food. No, this is Emperors of Biologists.com. And plug in on what looks like a kilo of Coke and a 1395 field trip for that bottle right there, homeboy. That's the difference between Usain Bolt getting beat and shattering the Olympic and world record. Straight up. Give you a power surge. Just dusting your finger in that. Give you a power surge of energy. That kicks the shit out of cocaine. How many brothers and sisters, both black and white, locked up in prisons all over this country on cocaine convictions? Straight up. FDA said that was illegal. It was no good. They're friends with the same people that own football teams and make money off sickness and death. And you know what? Yeah. How many... How many brothers and sisters could you keep from going to prison, Nymega, if you paid it forward that Stevia kicks cocaine's ass? Think about it, okay? And who's talking to you? Well, this is proof that Stevia works, dog. If Stevia didn't work, this right hand decapitates and damn near kills me. But Stevia keeps me in the game. Go ahead and see the rest of the fight. In about 20 seconds, I hit him with a 14-punch combination. I hit his head, and I break his collarbone. Yes, Stevia works. And who is talking to you, Nymega? Tell you what, I know how fucked up coaches are, all right? I know there's a lot of monsters. They might not try to rape your ass like Jerry Sandusky, but they rape your soul, man. They steal your future, okay? They're monsters, and I make that play right there, Pac-Man. Guess what? I get fired. <laughs> Fucking I quit immediately on the spot. I choose boxing. And guess what? Yeah, 20-something years later, sitting on my ass, eating like a pig because of massive amounts of stevia. I'm close to as lean as I was back in the day, homie, when I was on the verge of becoming a superstar and... They, quote unquote, they stole my future the same day that keeps guys like you and him and many of your people back. Yeah, and the problem with that is guys my color, you know, they think that they're actually free <laughs> and different, you know, even though they're poor. And uh, they don't realize that this fucking rich, man, they treat us all like slaves, like beeps. And you know where I'm coming from. And Pac-Man Jones validating that Stevia kicks cocaine's ass. That starts big things, man. Seriously. Go to YouTube. See Diego Sanchez says that Stevia is the cure. Listen to what he says. And then see all the soap float at the blend. At the end of a blend. Know that getting it all out, Pac-Man, turns water into what acts like the fountain of youth. So, what is it? 20 something years later, okay, I can be virtually as lean or ripped as I was, you know, back in the day, and I'm not even trying, homeboy. Bottle that up, sell it, and it makes up for Lincoln's lie, no reparations for the slaves. Yeah, bottle up the fountain of youth and sell it, and it's easily paying interest on 40 acres and a mule, my mega, and I'll wait for the NAACP and the Black Panthers to give an okay on that one. Peace out, my brother from another mother.